How's it going everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes. My name is Hansen. Thank you so much for tuning in and I am back with the 2005 Volvo S60R. I haven't done anything on this car for the past couple of weeks. That's because I've been really busy just uh, doing other stuff, uh, reviewing other cars and also attending the 2019 New York International Auto Show. So if you're interested in seeing any of those cars that are reviewed or uh, the new cars that are coming out for 2019 and 2020, please check out the playlists linked down below. But for this video, I've got something very special I've got new wheels and tires and there it is I've got the Koenig Renforms on the Bridgestone RE 71 R and if you want to look at the fitment it's very close but it doesn't rub at least it doesn't rub on these uh, calipers. I don't have steering limiters behind here, so I think it will rub on the fender liners, just like the other wheels and tires. Now, why did I go with this combination of wheels and tires? Well, there's many reasons. First, uh, let's talk about the wheels real quick because there's a lot of reasons why I chose this specific wheel. Now, I know a lot of you guys really like the Pegasus look, uh, but to be honest with you, the Pegasus wheels are very, very heavy. And since I'm trying to turn this into an autocross car, I need all the advantage I can get. And one of the easiest places to reduce weight is really in the unsprung weight regions, and that's the wheels and tires. Now, now, these wheels are 17 by 8 and 38 offset that's plus 38 and this weighs 17 pounds I actually weighed this wheel and this tire on the scale and compared it to the Pegasus when it's wrapped with the winter tires that I had the Blizzax and this came in at 40.2 pounds while the Pegasus and the Blizzax came in at 49.4 pounds so this is a massive weight savings and why is that important well it's because it's not only reducing the weight but it's also reducing the inertia and uh, you know the easiest analogy to think of is really of an ice skater you know when they're spinning on their skates and they have their arms stretched out they're spinning at a certain speed and then when they pull their arms in they spin at a much higher speed they didn't change their weight but they reduced their inertia so it's easier for them to rotate that's exactly what's happening here even though I dropped a lot of weight that also meant that the inertia has gone closer to the axles of the car so that means that it's going to take a lot less torque to rotate these wheels which is a very good thing and the reason why these wheels are so lightweight is because these are flow formed wheels now flow formed is kind of in between cast and also forged rims these are rotary forged the difference between a flow formed wheel and you could see it says flow formed right there and a cast wheel is that they first start with a cast portion of this face and then they rotary forge the rest of the wheel what that means is that they're able to use less material but achieve greater strength so essentially what they're doing is they're cold working the rest of the wheel so that you get better material properties and better strength characteristics. And again, since there's less material on the outside, you are reducing that inertia so that most of the mass is more towards the center. Again, that's going to be better for autocrossing because you're reducing unsprung weight and reducing wheel inertia. Another reason why I went with this wheel is because of the price. This was only $160. Uh, some of the forged wheels out there are, could run $500 to $800, and that to me is just a little bit ridiculous. This car was only $3,800. Now, why do I want wheels and tires that are more than the cost of the car? So I went with these. And the last reason why I went with this one is also because of the bolt pattern. As most of you guys know, the bolt pattern on this thing is five by 108. That's what Volvos run, at least what the Volvo S60R, the V70R, and the C30 runs. And the five by 108 bolt pattern, there's really not a lot of them when you're looking at lightweight wheels. Now, I reached out to the Facebook groups and they said that there are some alternatives to the OZ Ultra Legeras that's found on Tire Rack. Now I didn't go with the OZ Ultra Legeras because for their 17 inch wheels they only came with a seven and a half inch width. Now some other people suggested to look at the Team Dynamics Pro Race 1.3 
and another person also suggested braid wheels now braid wheels they are a fully customizable wheel so if you have unique applications they could just make whatever wheel you want uh, that's a really cool thing uh, but for my applications, again, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. And the Koenig Renform is basically the perfect wheel that fit my budget and also fit this car. Okay, let's talk about the tires real quick. The Bridgestone RE71R. If you talk to any autocrosser, they'll basically suggest two different types of tires the RE71R and also the BFG Rivals. Now, the BFG Rivals only come in select sizes. Uh, this one, since it came in the 235, 45, 17, I was like, yep, this is the tire I'm going with. So yes, there are a lot of tires out there, but I decided to go with the RE71Rs for now, and I'll let you know what I truly think about them once I've gotten a few autocross sessions in them. The wheels are about 160-ish, and the tires are also about 160. So overall, I got this set for less than 1400 bucks with shipping and everything involved. So overall, not bad for a really nice lightweight and very grippy set of wheels and tires. So please let me know what you think about the wheels and tires on this car. Uh, it may not be for everyone. And to be honest with you, it really wasn't for me when I ordered it. I was really thinking from a function over form perspective. Again, I really didn't care about the 15 spoke. I'm gonna have a terrible time cleaning those wheels, but uh, given the cost, given the fitment, given the weight of the wheel, this thing I just couldn't turn it down so uh, and when I actually picked it up I actually liked the look of it a lot because it looks pretty aggressive and for a 17 inch wheel given that the spokes go all the way out to, to the ends to the circumference of the wheel it makes it look even larger than it actually is and if you look at it from the side you there's also some form of concavity to it again I didn't expect very much of it but you could kind of see here how it just kind of dips down below uh, to where the bolts are. So part two of this video, I will be attending the IPD USA garage sale. That is happening on Saturday, May 18th, 2019. What is that? It's basically the largest Volvo gathering in the West Coast. It's a car show, it's a garage sale, it's a swap meet, and it's also for charity. IPD USA has teamed up with Nursingale. That's a Portland-based pediatric nonprofit dedicated to helping medically fragile children and young adults attain the highest quality of life possible by providing in-home, family-centered nursing care with an emphasis on keeping families together. So come out to the event, it's gonna be a great time and I'm looking forward to meeting all of you guys. And also, if you're interested, I don't know if you noticed this, but we've got the Hellwinkle logo on the car. So I'm gonna bring some of those stickers also to the IPD USA garage sale and I'm gonna give away the first 10 pairs. Now, if you can't make the IPD USA garage sale event or if you wanna buy these stickers now, please let us know. Reach out to contact at shiftinglanes.com and we'll give you more details there. So I'm gonna wrap it up right there. What do you think about the wheels and tires? Please let me know in the comments below. Now, if you're interested in autocrossing with me, please let me know as well, because uh, now that I have the proper wheels and tires, I no longer have winter tires to autocross with, uh, I'm gonna be going more often. And the next event is coming up very soon. So if you're interested in autocrossing with me, please let me know in the comments below and we can link up and race together. So if you enjoy this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, hitting that subscribe button and also hitting that notification bell so you could get notified anytime we make a new video on the S60R, the V70R, or the C30. If you want to support us even more, please head to our teespring.com storefront. You could buy these shirts, and I may have to change this now because I no longer have Pegasus on the S60R, instead I have the Koenig Renforms. But also we're gonna have the new Hellwinkle t-shirt designs on there as well. But anyway, let's wrap it up right there. I wanna thank you guys for watching all the way till the end. My name is Hansen and this has been the Volvo S60R new wheels and tires and I will see you next time.